uh, I'd like to talk about standardized coefficients. So a lot of times we might estimate an equation like this, height equals uh, beta 0 plus beta 1 times early child nutrition. So we think that early child nutrition uh, has an effect, influences height later in life. And we uh, want to estimate beta 1 hat to um, determine from our sample uh, what uh, the relationship is in our sample and hence infer about what the relationship might be in the in the population. Um, when we actually go to interpret beta 1 hat it's often useful to calculate a standardized beta coefficient and we define the standardized beta coefficient to be the estimated coefficient times the standard deviation of the x variable divided by the standard deviation of the y variable of the outcome variable. In this case, the standardized coefficient will be beta 1 hat uh, times the standard deviation of early child nutrition, which is the x variable, divided by the standard deviation of height, which is the y variable. So this standardized coefficient tells us how many standard deviations units of height are changed when child nutrition changes by one standard deviation. So it's the effect of a one standard deviation change in height on standard deviations of early child, uh, I'm sorry, it's the effect, I got that backwards, uh, it's the effect of a one standard deviation in early child nu nutrition on standard deviations of height. How many standard deviations of height will be changed uh, or are associated with the change of one standard deviation of early child nutrition. And the reason we do these standardized coefficients is uh, a lot of times we're comparing the effect of two or three different uh, factors that affect some outcome uh, and their units are different so uh, it's very hard to know uh, what to make of uh, one effect is 20, another effect, that is the coefficient we estimate is 20, the other coefficient is 0 0.004. Well, in some sense, how can we compare, though, if they're in different units? So by transforming the coefficients into standardized coefficients, they're all in units of standard deviations of the relevant variables, uh, and so it's maybe easier for us uh, to interpret what the effect what the magnitude of the effect is when we calculate standardized coefficients.